Hi everyone, this is my haul from Home Goods, Halloween edition for the most part. If you haven't seen my first video, I'll link it down in the description below, but that's basically where I took you through the store and kind of just took you shopping with me in a sense. And this is what I got. So I guess we'll take the bags down, maybe it'll be easiest, and then we'll go through them. And as I briefly mentioned in my prior video, I didn't get any blankets from Home Goods because I already have so many. These two I got last year from Home Goods. I absolutely love them. They are dog themed. So first up, I got this cute little decoration pillow and I just like the whole witchy vibe of it and we got the black cat I like that the brooms little tassels come out and for the price point you can't beat it it was only ten dollars this is compared to the other pillows I was seeing that was like twenty five dollars and I just can't justify it especially because it's only out a portion of the year but for ten dollars I'm happy with that Next up is this battery operated fake candle, which I thought would look really nice lit up and it was only $10. So that's not a bad price at all. And I love the witch. Let me go get batteries quick and we'll see this lit up. So now here it is without, and then here it is lit up. I love the way it flickers. It definitely gives you that spooky haunted mansion type vibe, which is going to be perfect for Halloween. So one thing I do have a lot of are these tea lights and they tend to flicker kind of like this too. So I thought everything together would look really nice. One thing I want to show you is Home Goods is pretty pricey in my opinion. And I feel like the quality is doesn't fully match up. So like there's air bubbles in this cover and it's not part of the decoration. Like the top has these cuts and rivets through it, which makes sense for the decoration itself. But I think that's pretty disappointing that they can't just like there's a part of the black that's missing over here and they're all just like that they're all kind of beat up for some reason so i don't know if that's the employee's fault or the manufacturer's fault but a little disappointing the next item i got are these nightmare before christmas oven mitts now i do have enough oven mitts i have enough dish towels all that type of stuff in the attic that i have to get down oh i didn't even realize this like <laughs> a loose strand i'll just cut that it's okay but these are just the small oven mitts i really like the design on them so i think this would be something i keep in my kitchen year round even though it's geared toward halloween i did have to pick up a certain dish towel set because it was too cute to pass up and wait till you see this it's so obnoxious and i love it so here it is how adorable is this like it's so stinking cute you got, I mean, I love that you got like the offset animals. Like who wants a raccoon on their dish towel? I do. Look at this cat just trick-or-treating in his best. I saw this and I don't know, it just made me crack up. So even though I have enough dish towels, I still needed to get that. This was $5.99. This was $6.99. So not a bad price for two towels. And then matching it, I got a drying mat and although we have a dishwasher so i won't technically be using this for its intended purposes 7.99 i will just have this like laying out somewhere because i couldn't pass that up and now on to some food items i did get this not so scary pumpkin brew coffee and it's disney it did have this last year this brand is really good so i was happy to see them they have them back in the store i did also get the joffrey's Minnie Mouse apple of my pie coffee. And it says it's a pairing of caramel apple and cinnamon. It's medium roast. Both of these, I think were $7.99 each. Yeah, that's in the front. I don't know how I feel about anything apple with coffee. I know Starbucks did something last year and it was gross. <laughs> so I don't know why I got this, but it, it sounds good in the sense that it's apple pie, but mixed with coffee, I don't know. So when I do try this, I will give you guys a review. Another thing I've never tried before is the skinny syrups. I don't really care about the whole skinny part. I was more interested in the vanilla bean pumpkin flavor. And they had a ton of these at Home Goods. They had pumpkin pie flavor, pumpkin cheesecake flavor, pumpkin spice flavor. So many varieties of pumpkin. But for some reason, the vanilla bean one sounded good to me. And at $3.99 for this size bottle, I couldn't pass it up. It was 25.4 fluid ounces. So hopefully it's good and it's not just a 25.4 fluid ounce bottle of grossness. Now the next thing I got is this I'm Irish coffee mug. Yes, this is St. Patrick's Day, not Halloween. Why did I pick it up? 
Well, one, it was $3 instead of the $7.99 price point, and it's Ray Dunn. I don't collect Ray Dunn, but I do like this cup. The inside is green. For anyone who's done the Ancestry.com or 23andMe DNA results, me and my boyfriend, we both thought we were highly Irish. And when it came back, I think I'm like 7 or 8%. And I don't know if he's around 8% or maybe a little more. So that's like a running joke between us. Because here we thought we were like 70% Irish and it comes back at like a tenth of that. So I got that as a little joke and laugh for both of us. So the last two items that I picked up, you saw in my video, it is this pair of skeletons. I like them too much and I believe, yeah, they're both $12.99 each. So figure $25, $26 for the pair. That's not bad at all. I have some speakers by my TV that they'll sit perfectly on, but I just thought they were so adorable. He's got his little hat, his cute little bow. I like his buttons and we can't ever forget about their shoes. Which they're both wearing the same style of shoes, so they're matchy matchy. And she's got this pretty frilly polka dot skirt on. She's got more frills up here. But I thought they were too cute to pass up. So I'm happy I picked them up. There was a second one of each of them. But the second one of him had a messed up vest. And then the second one of her had dirt on the head. So I was happy they at least had two clean skeletons that I was able to get. And here's the receipt of all the items I purchased today. And even though I tried to shop on the cheaper side of home goods, it was still pretty pricey at $95. So this is my overall haul from today's shopping trip at home goods. If you already did your Halloween shopping, let me know what you also got or what you plan on getting. As always, thanks for hanging out with me. And if you want, feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye friends.